Hey everyone, welcome to this demo of Project Dark. Um, I am actually just getting around to playing this now. This has been out for a while, I want to say maybe a month by this point. And uh, what this is, it is a um, choice-based game. I think there's like a few different s stories in here and you can make choices and different things happen. Um, <clears throat> This is available on iOS, Android, and I think Windows, but I don't know if the Windows version is accessible. Um, I'm playing this on Android. I could play it on the iPhone, but I figure I have Android as well, so let's actually use it. So um, let me grab the phone here. Scanner. Cash DMI chat. Envision a blind buffet. Why telegram? Discord. Advanced. Project dark. Double tap to activate. Double tap and hold to long press. Actions available. Use tap with three fingers to view. Alright, so um you you don't really need to hear what Talkback is saying because this game voices itself. So I'm gonna launch the 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 program. Tick dark. Game view. This project is funded by the Canada Media Fund. A Red Meat Games production. And, uh... Hey. Are your eyes closed? You have to keep your eyes closed. Don't miss a subject. Main menu. Swipe left to select an episode. Swipe right for settings. Swipe up for episode store. I do apologize. You might be able to hear a vacuum cleaner very faintly in the background. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Uh, so here we are in the game. Now I'm going to turn off Talkback Talk back off. by holding the volume keys. Once again here I'm using my Pixel. And um, as it tells you, you can swipe left to load e episodes, right to go into settings, or up for the e episode store. Now the episode store is kind of weird. I will show you how it works. I've already purchased the games. You can buy them individually or you can buy a package for $9.99 which is what I've done. Um, but this is a little weird so if I s swipe up Episode store. Tap the top left of the screen to select Date in the Dark. Tap the top of the screen to select Submersive. Tap the top right of the screen to select the game of three. Tap the middle left of the screen to select Cave of Spirits. Tap the middle of the screen to select Home Invasion. Tap the middle right to select Voice. Tap the bottom left of the screen to purchase the selected episode. Tap the bottom right of the screen to restore your purchases. Swipe down to exit. Now the thing it doesn't tell you is to tap the bottom middle to purchase all the games, um, which you can do, which is how I did it. So basically I had to tap there. The audio cut out because it popped up a dialogue to buy the uh, content inside the Play Store. You have to turn on TalkBack and use that to make the purchase. I assume it works the same on iOS. I, d I don't know. I could buy it on iOS, but I don't really want to own two copies of the same thing, and it seems like a waste of money. Uh, so that's what you do. If you tap on these, um, it will tell you what they are. It's so like if I tap towards the middle, the t t top middle. After recovering ancient treasure, a small scavenger team must work together to survive. You are the captain. Beware of your choices. Um, also, the voice samples aren't very good. I can't control that. That's just the game. So hopefully you can hear this clearly. Um, I, I think this was some kind of college project. So yeah, the, the quality isn't the greatest, but I guess we'll see. Um, I'm going to back out of here. Main menu. Swipe left to select an episode. Swipe right for settings. Swipe up. For episode store. Let's go to the right. Settings, page one. 
Tap the top left to turn menu narration on or off. Tap the top right to change the volume level. Tap the bottom to turn vibrations on or off. Swipe right for settings page two. I'm gonna Swipe left to return to the main menu. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can turn the volume up. Volume level loud. Volume level quiet. Volume level normal. Volume level loud. Yeah, cause she's pretty quiet generally. Um, also, if I tap, I think it was the bottom right. Vibrations off. Vibrations on. We want vibrations on, and I will s swipe one finger right. Settings page two. Tap the top left for the privacy policy. Tap the top right to delete saved data. Tap the bottom for credits. Swipe left to return to settings, page one. All right, so I'm not gonna go through that stuff. I'm gonna go back to the left twice for the main menu and then left again to actually begin. Settings, main menu, episode select. Swipe left on the top half of the screen to select episodes. Tap the top half of the screen for episode and description. Tap the bottom of the screen to start the selected episode. Swipe right on the bottom half of the screen to return to the main menu. Yeah, the controls in here are very strange, so I'm going to tap the top of the screen. In the tutorial, learn about the different interactions you will perform while playing Project Dark. Alright, so let's uh, go the, with the tutorial which is currently highlighted. I'm going to touch the bottom half of, of the screen. And I'm holding the phone in portrait. I think it stays locked in portrait mode. Oop. Why isn't it doing anything? Oh, uh... What was it? You have to swipe right on the bottom. Oh, whoops. Episode select. Swipe left on the top half of the screen to select episodes. Tap the top half of the screen for episode and description. Tap the bottom of the screen to start the selected episode. Swipe right on the bottom half of the screen to return to the main menu. Let me swipe to the left on the top half of, of the screen. Date in the dark. Submersive. The game of three. Cave of spirits. Home invasion. Bliss. Tutorial. Okay, so tutorial, let's tap the bottom. Oop. Hello, and welcome to Project Dark. I am the architect. I will showcase some of the interactive elements you can come to expect while playing Project Dark. But first, congratulations are in order. You are worthy, and you are special. You are a star that shines bright. Within Project Dark, you will experience an interactive, narrative-based game reserved only for someone as unique and unhindered as yourself. You can play this game with your eyes closed. Please ensure you have headphones on, are in a quiet space, and are in a relaxed mood with your volume turned up. Pay close attention to the audio, and use it to help you make decisions and imagine what the Project Dark characters and environments look and feel like. In Project Dark, your mind is the real rendering machine. Go ahead, relax, and close your eyes. When you hear this chime, you must make a choice by swiping right to say yes or swiping left to say no. Again, that's swipe right for yes or left for no. Now let's try with a simple question. Are your eyes closed? Swipe right to say yes, left to say no. Yes, my eyes are always closed. But that's beside the point, right? So um, the thing I wanted to say is Ooh, my phone just vibrated with your device and swipes left in doing so uh, you told me that your eyes are not closed no i didn't your time to answer ran out i will adapt the system appropriately based on your decisions in project dark you may need to use your sense of healing to dynamically avoid danger we are in a forest now i want you to take a deep breath because i currently have two arrows aimed at you one to the left and the other to the right of your head. On the count of three, I will shoot the arrows. Place a finger on the screen and don't move. One, two, okay. three. I'm just holding. Place a finger on the screen and don't move. Don't move your finger. I'm not moving my finger. You interact 
connected with your device correctly and stayed still. Good work. Let's slow things down a bit. In front of you is a panel with multiple buttons on it. Each one is programmed to play different kinds of music. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target button to play a happy song. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the object. Okay. So I'm touching the screen. I'll drag around. That's the happy song already. I feel happy now. Good work. Let's try another. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target button to play a sad song. Touch the so. Screen. Without lifting your finger. Move around to find the object. So basically, the quicker the beeps are, the closer you are to the target. So basically, you just have to put your finger down and drag it. <laughs> I feel a little sad now. Okay, let's turn off the radio. You can smash it with a hammer by swiping left. Please don't. Or just switch it off like a normal person by swiping right. No, let's do it this way. Wow, wow, wow. You actually smashed it. I have to clean that up, you know. Moving on. The last thing you must do before entering Project Dark is to find its entrance. In front of you is a dark maze that you must traverse with just audio and your ears. There is a sound playing from the entrance's location. You must swipe up, down, left, or right to find the Project Dark entrance. Good luck. Swipe up, down, left, or right to move in that direction. Find the sound. Okay. <clears throat> so the thing that I wanted to say before is your choices are timed and when I was choosing the episode to play I had to tap in different portions of the bottom half of the screen so this is definitely it works but you may have to experiment with it so let me swipe up let's go to the right Before you is the entrance to Project Dark. Remember, when you hear the chop, you can swipe right to say yes, or swipe left to say no. A multitude of deep, episodic narrative adventures await. Are you ready to experience Project Dark? Yes. So. Episode select. Swipe left on the top half of the screen to select okay. episode. Date in the dark. So we had I had to s swipe up. I'm not sure if that was necessary or if it would take me back there. This is the first one. No, this is called Date in the Dark. If I tap the top of the screen, you're on a blind date in total darkness with a woman named Lisa who has done this before. Is this a good match? All right. Well, let's find out. I'm going to hit. I'm going to try to find the bottom half of the screen now. Again, this can be a bit tricky. Just touching different parts of the screen. Uh. There we go. Oh, sorry. Can't see. Am I right? Back off. <sighs> Bonsoir, tout le monde, et bienvenue. Welcome, everyone. For those of you new to Bistro Noir, you 
are about to embark on a journey of discovery and exploration of the senses. Ah, oh, what is this? Without sight, senses like touch, taste, hearing, and smell all become amplified. No phones, no visual distractions, no judgment, just pure existing in the present moment and the company around you. I promise you, this will be an unforgettable experience. Are you ready? Oui ou non? Monsieur Yas? Oui, oui, oui. Okay, let's begin. Here at Bistro Noir, our team consists entirely of visually impaired professionals of the service industry, each with their own unique experience. Please, be kind and patient as a member of our serving staff will escort you to your table by their arm. Table 12, on your far left. Table 1, on your far right. Table 11, on your left. Ah, table two, I'll be serving you. Please, offer me your arm. I think, uh, swipe left. Parfait. No? Uh, okay, thank you. Okay. Feel at your steps. I know it feels a little daunting at first. Yeah, I'm still adjusting, I think. Watch out for chairs on your right. Uh, let's go to the right. Shit! Die. I mean, married? Uh, ouch. Are you okay? Yeah. You got your directions mixed up? Yeah, I'm fine. <clears throat> okay, here we are. Table two. Please. Take a seat, and your surprise dinner partner will join you shortly. Uh, thank you. Hello, let me take you to your table. Well, this should be fun. Or a total disaster. And here we are, table two. Thank you. Hello. Hi. I'm Lisa. Dylan. This is your first time? I'll say yes. Yeah. How, how did you peck me that quick? I could hear it in your voice. <laughs> That's quite an ear you got. I have two of them, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> the same. So, what brings you here today? Just felt like something different. Is that the real answer? Sure. <sighs> yeah, pretty much. I feel like I should tell you this up front. Uh, I'm having a bit of anxiety right now, just being told darkness. It's new for me. Okay, just take a couple of breaths. You're in good hands tonight. All right. I'll do it with you. will be something different, all right? You've been here a few times then? You know that corny cliche, so you come here often? My answer to that would be, uh, yeah. I heard some people use this as a good date experience to break the ice. Is that what brings you here? Oh, you mean like, is this a date? I'll say yes. to go in expecting that. Honestly, I'm not looking for anything specific. I just enjoy meeting people this way. Everyone here is an equal. I feel the most at ease when I'm here. Really? Total darkness? It's part of my usual day-to-day, -day, actually. Mine is a sightless world. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I shouldn't That's have... okay. You're nervous. It's just part of who I am. I'm also left-handed. You could be bald and right-handed for all I know. Which isn't a bad thing. Just part of who you are. 
Besides, in this setting, it's irrelevant. That's the magic of this. Well, you might have to help me navigate through this so I don't spill everything all over us. I'm somewhat of an expert here. But is this you warning me that you're a clutch? Mm, we'll say no. No, not really. Just out of my element here. Very out of my element. Oh, I hear drinks being served. The wine here is the best. Did you order a glass? I'll say yes. I got a six ounce to start. Well, I got a bottle. Did you get rosé by any chance? No, I'll say no. I did not. Red or white then? Uh, I'll say white, so left. Oh, just the house red. Oh. Rosé and white are a bit too sugary for me. I get headaches. Whoops. Here we are. A bottle of Cote Rose for Mademoiselle Lisa, and for you, a glass of red. I will be parking now. Mind your movements. Sure, why not? I did. I thought I'd roll the dice. I mean, I'll eat anything, really. Yes, this is exciting. Trust me, everything is good here. Are you an oysters person? Tell me you're an oysters person. Uh, I am not, but he is. Why not? Oh, yeah. So good here. All East Coast. I have a pretty hot take that tends to piss off vegetarians and vegans. Uh-oh. It's nothing bad. I just never understand why they say they can't eat oysters. I mean, unlike other shellfish, oysters don't have a nervous system, so they're basically the same as a plant. And then I've heard, well, they're part of the animal kingdom, so we can't eat them. But <laughs> they're non-sentient beings with no brain and no ability to feel pain. Plus, they filter water, so they are as pure as can be and also so high in protein. Like... Why can you murder a salad, but not this? Wow. You really did your research. Hell yeah. So, what do you think? Do I have a case? Sure, why not? I mean, the logic seems pretty sound. More plant than animal. Thank you. Also, I ordered half a dozen. I can't wait. So, uh, what do you do for work? I'm a pilot. Mostly commercial flights. Really? No. <laughs> I make terrible jokes for a living. I'm confused. Well, not really for a living yet. I do stand up, but voiceover work usually pays the bills. Come see me performing at the Comedy Garage this Saturday at night. Lisa LaRonde. Oh, I think I've heard of you, actually. Wow. That's so cool. Yeah, I'll definitely check my schedule. Someone sounds busy. What do you do? I'm a graphic designer. Oh, what kind of stuff do you design? A bit of everything. I'm freelance, so whatever the client needs. Such as? Well, website layouts, logos, posters, banners, social media pages, uh, memes. Uh... Do you enjoy it? Uh, how about no? Uh, yeah. You hesitated and had a high inflection. Want to try again? Well, honestly, it could be better. How so? Well, some of my clients are a lot. Yeah, they ask for so many revisions, uh, flip-flopping, giving contradictory notes. You know, they have no respect for my time or me as a person. And then at the end of the day, the final product barely reflects any of my creativity. And uh, 
I'm not feeling utterly redundant. Shit. I'm sorry. Ah, what can you do? Pass cast in their general direction for life. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. My table manners died with the fall of the Soviet Union. Oh, uh, what? Are you like a diehard sympathizer? <laughs> no, I just got a lot ruder around that time. Totally unrelated circumstances. Okay, here we are. Once more, mind your hands and movements. We have half a dozen oysters. In the middle is fine. Thank you. Escargot à la Parisade. For you, just here on your right. Ah, wonderful. Thanks. And for you, Mademoiselle Lisa, the pâté de Provence, just on your left. Oh my god, yum. Bon appétit. If you need anything else, gently tap your fork on the glass and someone will come around. Thank, Thank you. you. I am so ready for these oysters. Want one? Oh, yes please. Thank you. Did, did you already eat one? Yep. Catch up. Feel around for a shell. Bring it up to your mouth. Tip, then knock it back. Oh, all right. Here it goes. Mmm. <laughs> that's good. Most people get psyched out by the visual texture, but this is the beauty of sightless eating. It's a more psychologically open way of dining. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really digging it so far. Fun fact, my friend Ross is the Guinness Book of World Records fastest shucker. Wow. Guy shucks. Mm. You want to have another? Sure. Hell yeah. Let's do these last two together. Ready? Mm -hmm. Bon appetit, mon ami. Oh, so good. Ugh, I love oysters. Yeah, I can tell. You can just taste the ocean. Literally. Just so refreshing. And they really put you in a good mood. Aren't they an aphrodisiac? Yeah. Where are you going with this? Hmm? Nowhere. I mean, not there, but I, I have a few friends that just love oysters, like really love them, and they speak about them with such a stimulated reverence. You know, it's kind of culty, actually. Hey. Well, I mean, what I mean is, okay, I have a theory. If oysters are an aphrodisiac, isn't it possible that people who are really into them are kind of, you know, really into them? Like, uh... <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I never thought about that, but that's totally what it is. Uh, I have to make that a bit, with your permission, obviously. Oh, granted. <laughs> You're funny, Dylan. I gotta feel around for my fork here. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target within five seconds. Okay. I've oh, got it. Improbably. Good job. I'm proud of you. Mmm. Tell me how your first bite is. Okay. Here it goes. Mmm. That's actually so good. I've never had escargot. You know, snails have always freaked me out. I, I hear their length is half penis. This is really good. <laughs> Trust me, I've tried everything on the menus, and it's all incredible. Also, I didn't know that about snails. You're welcome. Wow, the music here is great, too. Aren't they wonderful? Hmm. Wait, it's a live band? Well, I sure hope they aren't dead. I mean... Yeah, they play music here often. They're all musicians with a vision impairment. Wow. This place is amazing. Cheers to that. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the target within five seconds. Okay. Cheers. That is such a good wine. Oops. <laughs> Someone messed up. Does that happen often? Oh, yeah. A lot of people act before they think, without the use of all their senses. But frankly, Bistro Noir is a good social experiment, in my opinion. How am I doing? Wonderfully. So, 
Do you think billionaires should exist? Yay or nay? Oh, wow. Uh, what a segue. Um, uh... Sure, why not? Yay? I mean, I think it's all right if someone has worked really hard and smart to get there. Hmm. I mean, it's, it's a little excessive, sure, but that's capitalism, right? Uh, which I am not a fan of. It's like the one big thing that is ruining society. Are you a fan? Yep. Yeah, I don't think it's as bad as it's made out to be. Like, the idea of a trillionaire is ridiculous, but overall, competition is good. Okay, here's another question. Is this an interview or a date? Both. And neither. We'll see. I feel like I'm on a game show. You are. You're in the hot seat. <laughs> okay, fire away. Spring or fall walk? Go go to the right. Spring. Those first warm days are paradise. I'm a fall gal. I kind of hate spring. The snow melts and it becomes Lake City. Allergens everywhere. Ugh. Are you a fan of soup? Sure. <laughs> of course. Who doesn't like soup? I had this whole bit about an ex that just hated soup with a passion. And I was like, don't hate soup just because you're unhappy with your life in this relationship. We had other problems too, but the soup thing was a red flag. <laughs> yep. Okay. If you strongly disagree with someone politically or socially, like to a degree where you know their values are just so off base, would you want to friend them on social media? Oh, um, okay. Uh, hmm. Probably not, as long as we don't talk about it, so left. Oh, no, I'm not really that cutthroat. I think people can have different opinions, and even if I don't agree, I'm sure we'll find other similarities. Oh, that's such a good attitude. The kind of black and white thinking of blocking and deplatforming is definitely dividing this world more. Social media in general, really. Agreed. Do you mind me asking how accessible do you find it? I mean, it's pretty intuitive for visual impairments. Could always be better, but we can use it just fine. But on that point, I feel like my experience as a blind person has made me highly aware of both judgment coming in and going out. I do sometimes wish humans could just stop judging what they see on the outside. The world would be such a better place. That's beautifully put, Lisa. Alright, last one. If we met out there, in the real world, would you have treated me any differently? Be honest. I'm sorry, left. No, no way. You sure? Yeah, why would I? It's just... There's always this layer of crust to breach with people that I wish wasn't there. Even if it's just being overly polite and sensitive, it sometimes makes me feel like a stray dog. People are weird. The worst is when people speak louder to me, as if that's the issue. Do you ever bring your experience into your comedy routine? I try not to make it my shtick, but it inevitably comes up. Sometimes it's just fun to make people uncomfortable, but that's my prerogative, you know? Oh, for sure. It's also my prerogative to make dead dad jokes. He's dead, by the way. I'm sorry to hear that. See? Uncomfortable. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dick. Humor has definitely always been the outlet of my choice. My dad was a wonderful man. I've taken him here before, actually. Did he enjoy it? So much. He was an artist, actually. He designed a few of my tattoos. I know you can't see them here, but I love how he's always with me through them. Like signatures or imprints that keep him alive. Hmm. Here, give me your hand. I'll show you my favorite. Okay, on my wrist. Right there. Touch the screen. Without lifting your finger, move around to find the object. hands. Okay. Uh, right here. Imagine the top-down view of a bee. Wings spread. A friendly but strong. That's how you would always address my birthday cards. Dear honey. And draw the same little doodle every time. Wow. What is it? 
It's nothing. Tell me. Sure, we'll say yes. This might sound kind of silly, but I could sense you smiling just then, actually. That's special. You, yeah? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> Isn't it so cool how your other senses play bigger roles? The air feels different, charged, readable almost. That's pretty crazy. Thanks for sharing that with me, Lisa. Hmm. Do you want to tell me why you're really here alone? Uh, well... Sorry, I shouldn't cry. No, it's okay. I'm about four months coming off a breakup, and on top of that, I got fired from my last contract because my productivity wasn't up to par, and they just generally treated me like shit overall. Yeah, it's been a tough year, to be honest. <sighs> Sorry, I, I don't mean to sound all negative and low. No, no, you're going through a lull. You're entitled to own that. Life is friggin' tough sometimes. Ugh, I could say that again. You know, I just needed a night to escape without it being self-destructive, you know? Well, I'm really glad we were paired at the same table. You're really cool, Dylan. Same. And you too, Lisa. We should probably dig in now, hey? I know, we barely touched our food. I might order some more oysters. You cool with that? And any potential slurping? Sure. Oh, no worries. You do you. Hell yes. Let me ask the waiter. Oh, well, that was quite the dining experience. Definitely. Do I look like how you thought I might? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I definitely got quirky love interest from a rom-com vibes. Dyed hair and all. Uh-huh. Natural, frizzy brunette. Sorry to disappoint. Your voice definitely matches you. Also, you have a seriously nice smile. And, and your tattoos are more lovely than you let on. Oh. <laughs> I was smiling a lot, you know. It was so nice meeting you, Lisa. Same to you. I could hear a limp in your step. Are you okay? I low-key think I broke my toe. Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> well, want to stick around and chat while my ear gets... Sure. For sure. Yeah, I, I always like to stick around till everyone gets their ride home. That's good of you. That's the bare minimum. So, hey, uh, your stand-up's on Saturday at 9, right? Correct. Think you can make it? I'll say yes. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'll be there. Awesome. Try and bring a few friends out to support. Oh, you're the best. Lisa LaRond, right? That's me. So, what are you doing after this? Nothing, really. What the hell was that? I don't know. Was that a gunshot? Oh, right. Ugh, there were fireworks tonight. I totally forgot. Oh. Where, where are you gonna go? Nah, I'm sticking around with you, remember? I love this kind of rain. Do you? Sure. It's the best. <laughs> what a great night. Yeah? Yeah. Also, I have been meaning to tell you, your column smells amazing. Oh. You like it? Yeah. Not too strong. Just right. <laughs> Getting it closer, eh? It's even better here. Say yep. Is it okay if I kiss you? <laughs> sure. Wow, you're good at that. You too. Hope you enjoy Oyster Bread. That's the name of our new band. Oh, Oyster Bread. Well, um, did you want to hop in the Uber with me? <laughs> Is that because you really had a few too many oysters? <laughs> Possibly. But for real, I like hanging out with you, Dylan. The night is young, and so will we. I think you already know my answer. Okay, well, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm not inviting you to sleep over. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. 
Oh, our ride's here. The white SUV? Yeah, should be. I'll get the door. Oh, thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa. Well, this was unexpected. You're telling me. I'm all about it. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on. Is it over? Episode select. Swipe left on the top half of the screen to select episodes. Tap the top half of the screen for episode and description. Tap the bottom of the screen to start the selected episode. Okay. Swipe right on the bottom half of the screen to return to the main menu. So I guess what happens is it plays some ambient sounds and waits for you to s swipe up. Sorry, I really hate that. <laughs> uh, my stupid stutter. Uh, yeah, so I guess that was the happy ending. And obviously, if you make different choices, different things happen. I assume it's it's possible to not impress her, and then, well, you know what happens, right? Um, yeah, so there's that one, and I think what I'm going to do, just for convenience, is split these into individual parts. So part one includes the tutorial and the date in the dark story. The next part will include the submersive storyline, and so on. So I hope you are enjoying this. It's not a bad concept. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's different. But uh, yeah, so let me make sure. Yes, I'm still recording. All right. Uh, so I will be back for part two, in which we will play through the story number two. Take care.